Hello everyone and welcome back to Missouri Grown Carolina Home. Today I have a new type of video for you and I'm going to show you how I make homemade barbecue sauce. I started making this because my husband does not like any barbecue sauce that I like, like the thick Sweet Baby Raid style barbecue sauce. So I'm going to show you a copycat recipe of a barbecue sauce that he used to get when we lived in Missouri. It's called Malls. It's a St. Louis type barbecue sauce. Now I will say this does not taste exactly like that, but he does like it better than the store-bought stuff I've been buying. So until we can get back to Missouri to get him his bottled barbecue sauce, I will just continue to make this for him. I doubled the recipe and I'm gonna have the recipe linked down below, but I doubled it just because the last time it only made about half of a quart jar. This time it filled my quart jar. So I'm gonna go through, tell you what I'm using, but I will have the uh, recipe down below with a link to the website I used. So starting out, I used some tomato puree and then I added some vinegar Right now I'm adding dark corn syrup. And I think that's all I've added so far, but we'll go through this together, like I said. Um, I ended up using, well, uh, six tablespoons of the dark corn syrup, which ended up being this, the rest of my bottle. So that worked out pretty good for me. But yeah, so anyways, like I said, Brian just does not like the thick, Sweet Baby Ray's style barbecue sauce. We've tried one like Sticky Fingers, I think it is. And he didn't end up liking that either. He just likes the thin, not real thin, but thin St. Louis style barbecue sauce. That's what he, we grew up on when we lived back home. And um, yeah, he's just never ventured out of it. To be honest, I don't even like malls. Like I'll use it, but it is not what I would go for. But I, because I know he wanted some something with flavor, I um, I found a copycat recipe, made it for him. He said it doesn't taste exactly like it, but he does enjoy it. So, um, I added some brown sugar, and I'm about ready to add some molasses. I literally bought molasses just for barbecue sauce because I don't know what else to use it in. I have yet to venture out and use it, but this. This jar of molasses is going to last me for like ever. <laughs> so I got to come up with other recipes to use with that. I've heard of like molasses cookies and stuff like that, but I have yet to make anything. I've tasted like just the plain molasses. I didn't like it. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? But it's actually kind of funny. We used to go to this restaurant called Lambert's when we would visit Springfield, Missouri, which is our all-time favorite restaurant, probably, I would say. And they throw rolls at you. So you would get rolls, and then the waiters would come by and ask you if you would want sorghum molasses. I don't know if it's sorghum or molasses with it. I think it. I think one sorghum and then the molasses. I'm like, uh, no. But after tasting the molasses... I definitely would have never liked that. <laughs> I don't even know what sorghum is either, but enough said. Um, I am adding some orange juice and some lemon juice. Uh, then I'm adding garlic and onion powder. It, the recipe called for grated lemon zest, but I didn't have like an actual lemon this time. So I just used the jarred concentrate. Um... But yeah, like I said, I didn't add lemon zest this time. Your spices are going to be salt, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. It also called for ground cloves, and I didn't have that either. So you just do you and do what you think is going to be best. I don't know if the clove would have really added anything to it. I know that's more of a like a not spicy as in hot, but spice as in like fall time right I don't know anyways I'm just talking at this point 
But once you add all this and you're also going to add hot sauce, soy sauce, steak sauce, and wish to share sauce. Um, it, it's very like after you add all these ingredients, you would think it'd be extremely salty, but it's not too bad. Really, honestly, you can just taste a lot of the vinegar. The first time I made this, I did exactly like the recipe called for, but I just thought it was way too much vinegar. And uh, this time, even though I doubled the recipe, I cut back on the vinegar just a little bit. So it said a third a cup of white vinegar, and since I doubled it, it would have been two thirds. This time I only added like a half a cup, I think. So we'll see how Brian likes it. He hasn't tried it yet, but I think, I think he'll like it a little bit better. So yeah, so once you get all of this stuff into your pot, you're gonna stir it all up and then you're gonna let it, you're gonna bring it to a boil while stirring pretty often and you're gonna reduce the heat to a simmer until it's thick, which the recipe says takes about 10 minutes. It took me probably 20, 25 minutes to get it down and thickened a little bit. This still isn't very, very thick. Like, like I say Sweet Baby Ray's because that's what I know to compare it to. It's not thick like that at all. Uh, it's more like a thinner consistency. So if you don't like that, I would just say keep simmering it until it is the thickness you desire. So yeah, so that's all this is. So easy. It comes together pretty quick. It does take a lot of ingredients, but it is good. It tastes good. And this will last us a long time. Like I said, it it made two, no, it made a, a quart jar. I think I might have said two quarts earlier, but it's a quart jar, which will last us at least the rest of the summer. So yeah, that's it. And I'm going to show you um, putting it in the jar now I like I said I just let it simmer for about 20 minutes I didn't think you'd want to stare at a pot for that you know forever so that's all I did and you can see as I pour it in it's a little bit thicker but you can also see how runny it is as well so if like I said if that thin consistency is not for you I would definitely go with either a different recipe or just let it simmer longer but I knew that this would be okay so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you get something from it. Um, I didn't can this, but I did let it cool in the jar and then I put it in the refrigerator and it'll stay in there for quite some time. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you uh, liked this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time, bye friends.